I did a crap lot of work today. That berry bush just couldn't take the strain of being in the grove, so I moved it to the front. And it looks like it's already doing a little bit better, and it's only been half a day. And of course, the emerald and the two golden, the two emerald and the two golden crawlers, I also put in the front because it's just too much, I think, for them back there. Uh, the lilacs are there. I did lots of work in the back, and I'll show you that in a minute. The wind is being bad. Look at your trees. There's a tree. There's a tree. Uh, that's a lilac that's up for grabs. However, uh, timber the other day showed that uh, the teachings uh, that Druid and Timber were getting from both Sherry and Aura that paid off because Drew was out on a big issue, on an investigation and another witch, a bad witch obviously, from only years ago, attacked her and Timber was already there and, and took care of the situation. So Timber has now become a familiar to Drew. So Timber needs his own tree just like Aurora's a familiar for for Sherry. Now Timber's a familiar for Drew, so Timber needs a tree. Anyway, so I would take a bunch of more holes. That one, two. And uh, Sherry this <laughs> Don't think I forgot you. That's your that's for your witch tree whenever I find it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13 holes dug. Uh, so we can get 13 more trees, and that'll be it. Um, that one's not claimed. That one's not claimed. Uh, this one's claimed. <laughs> there you go, Donnie. There's your tree you're asking about. Uh, the spirit said, we'll put it by Sister Moon because apparently. Uh, you're the type of guy that walks into a lot of shit and you need extra help, so... <laughs> Donnie's tree is my sister. Okay. I haven't made up any signs yet. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that's Christmas tree, by the way. Uh, White Owl's friend who had the uh, surgery. I'll be making up your sign, dear. I just haven't had a chance. Okay. And also today, I've been digging holes. I've been digging a lot of holes. Holy crap. These are for the fences. There's a three foot hole there and a three foot hole there. This one I gotta stick it away, so I gotta cut it out. Uh, as you can see, the walkway's doing really good, actually. I'm quite happy with it so far. Not blowing away, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting like a good puppy dog. So, I might, I might do that for the rest yet. I don't know. Oh! One more thing I did, uh, I finished the cross uh, to keep it weather protected and stuff. Uh, Evie was talking about that the other day. Uh, but I decided I wanted to do with the with the four colors, so I don't know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty cool. I got white on the end of the ball, right, for purification. And I, uh, the four colors are there. So I think it looks really good. Oh yeah, I got three of the big logs put in uh, for the fence. <coughs> Those buggers are heavy. Mm. Uh, but I got them in there. See? We'll go over here and get a better view of it. Up to uh, up to here in the corner, right by Angela's tree there on the corner. Because then we're gonna make a fence going that way after. But I'm gonna put that in and put see like that. Our neighbor's got that wire fence. We're gonna put that all the way around. So I think that'll look good. Anyway, I gotta take a break. Bye. Hello, somebody's asking how heavy are these lugs? Uh, let's see, they're about 10 feet long. And, uh, I don't want to be a liar. I would say 8 or 9 inches thick. 8 inches. 8 
inches straight across. So it's basically a 12 foot 8 by 8. That's all. Uh, are they heavy? Hell yeah. <laughs> but oh well. Okay, so anyway, we want to know they're 12, uh, sorry, 10 feet 8 by 8. There you go. Well, I got five of these huge bunkers in the ground. <laughs> uh, uh, as you can see, I got another one right over there. It's already painted on the ground. So, whew, some bitch. Whew. I think I'm breaking. I might put that last one in, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I got enough just to go to the corner, like I said. I got one extra, so I might put it in that slot right there, but I don't know. I might not either. We'll see how happens. Whew. Okay, I did it. I got all, all ten holes dug for these big bugger, buggers. Big buggers. Mm. So, all ten holes are dug. I got six of the posts in. So these, I get where you can see. There's three of them, see? There's the other three. So there's four there that gotta go. That's it. Now once I put the wire on, uh, all the way around. I'm gonna get my buddy to cut cut it even at whatever the height the wire is. Cut all the posts even off. It should look pretty good. So there you have it. Okay, well. A lot of dry rot on some of these big buggers, <coughs> but I don't really care because all they're gonna do is stand there and hold up a little bitty wire fence. So they should last a long time, and if they don't, I'll just replace them one at a time. But uh, the main thing is I got them. Whew. Okay. All the posts are in. Each and every one of those heavy buggers. These last four are just standing in the hole. That's tomorrow's job to pack them in. But they're there. See you, see you.